Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, to Blue Tequila Joseph. And we are here today with another video. So I know I missed Wednesday's video because we're supposed to have two uploads a week. But I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. Besides me having like a melon for a week, that's why I didn't upload Wednesday's video. And I also made up for it and I did a live on my Instagram, Tequila Joseph. As you guys know, I am recovering from my Instagram page with 40.9k followers being hacked right it's my business page i've had it for seven years if you want to know the entire story click the last video that we had up right and you would see the entire story but basically i was using my page ginger tiki to just do everything and then some lovely young lady right because i was debating as to if i wanted to change the name or not but some lovely young lady dm me and she was like tequila look this here is available and it was tequila.joseph so if you're looking for me on instagram you can find me at tequila.joseph and that's me there so on that page you're just going to find a lot of inspiration a lot of quotes a lot of makeup a lot of videos if you're new to the crew if you're a new subscriber welcome 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 if you've been here rocking with me for the two months that we have this page clap 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you and guys for the new ones don't forget to subscribe ring that bell next to subscribe and you will become a part of the notification gang guys we got some things to get into today so just stick with me i'm gonna do a little story time now so let's go god is just using everything around me to remind me of you know his goodness as i posted on my instagram guys remember my instagram is tequila.joseph as i was posting on my instagram god used um seven parrots to to reassure me of a promise and i was like wow and it was so amazing because i was driving around savannah and um i was driving around savannah and i just parked at the weirdest place first of all my car was kind of too low to go there but i drove until i saw a flat area and i said okay let me stay here right and i've never parked there before i just parked there and i was just writing in my phone you know because when i don't have my book to write my prayers i would write in my phone and i was writing in my phone and like about three minutes into parking there i hear these things making noise and i'm like well well duh we've got the savannah stop making noise no problem and um so i so so then i see people stopping and taking pictures of the tree and i'm like the tree has nothing on it i didn't even see the seven parts there and um then right more people were stopping and taking pictures and i am parked here and the tree is right here i'm parked here no i'm parked here and the tree is right here right and then more people are stopping and taking pictures so i am like what is that and like the lady heard me say what is that and she's like parrots i'm like parrots here yeah, she that's so unbelievable and she's like let me count them seven parrots guys for me seven is the number of completion which is so amazing right and i felt you know it was like god telling me you know i am completing you you are safe you know what i am doing is beautiful right and um the lady keep telling me she was like seven eh seven and i am like okay seven and she told me about three times she was like it's seven parrots it's seven parrots and i was like okay seven and then it's only when i realized that the parrot was there and i really you know and i started to google what's the meaning of parrots you know da, 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 da. what is the symbolization of parrots and then I, you know parrots signifies like the stage that chain is beautiful or the things that are to come are beautiful and to me seven parts seven is the number of completion so i was like god thank you and that was just god reminded me to kill her, that this is you know this that is happening it's beautiful the place that you're going to go it is beautiful so be encouraged and it was so amazing and he was just assuring me that this is me it is complete this season that you're in is the right season for you and i was so encouraged guys and it's all the lady she's stopping and she was like seven eh? she, she what three times she says seven eh? it's seven of them you know hear me seven mm -hmm, seven 
And I didn't even get to take a picture of it because as soon as like the revelation hit me, the parrots flew away. All seven of them together flew right away. And it's so strange because you just don't see seven parrots around the savannah all together on one tree. I don't know if you ever saw it, but I never saw it. And I felt like I loved outside. I love, you know, I just love being outside. I love the trees and the air. Anytime I really want to talk to God, I would walk. I would walk. I would want to go outside to the bench, to the sky, right? And I felt like if God would really use the things that we love, if you love cooking, God could use that to many, you know, to arm, to arm. Speak a word to you, you know. If you love um video games, God could he use that to speak a word to you. If you love sewing, God could he use that to speak a word to you. And God used outside God, you know, God used nature, God used his birds to speak a word to me, and it was so encouraging, guys. And I just want to encourage you guys today. Be encouraged. God will speak to you in plenty different ways. God will speak to you in any way that He could. And guys, look out for it. Be on the lookout for God to speak to you. He would use these things that you like. He would use people. He would use dreams, guys. But just be on the lookout to receive a word from God. Be encouraged, guys. today with my foundation i'm mixing three 510 and 515 for my foundation right technique brush that i have right it is the real technique 221 it's a complete coverage brush so i'm gonna go in right this is a new brush that i have here and this brush guys ooh, is really complete coverage let me take off my earrings for you guys. I'll put it on after. Yep, earrings off. So this brush, guys, is really complete coverage. I must say, it's really good. It's really a good brush. Mm -hmm. If you can be looking here, it's because the mirror is there. And this foundation is pretty thin, but when it lays on your face, it dries matte. This is the reason why I like the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. That's the one with the red cover right when it goes on your skin it dries a matte it's it's very thin but it's kind of like water beef but when it goes and it lays down when it is laid down it's really matte so that's good and i'm using the technique today guys where i put on my foundation first so anytime i'm not really doing a lot and i'm not really going anywhere really or i really want a natural look i would put on my foundation first just as i did in the everyday routine if you want i'll leave a link here for the everyday routine just as i did in the everyday routine i put my foundation on first so this brush as you guys can see <laughs> the brush is amazing guys the brush is really good so this is the brush i don't know if you guys can see it properly right this is the brush it's so good i'm gonna go in with my uh, ellie girl concealer ellie girl concealer Bye. cute it's so cute and i'm going to do my eyebrows right away so sometimes i leave the elegant concealer to let it dry down a little bit you know then i'm going to go up under here One time, I'm going here to one time. All right. If you guys are wondering, all right, one time. 
I shaped my eyebrows to myself, so that's that. Let's see if I get a link for the package up here and I'll put it and I'll put the package right up here. The package comes with three brushes and all of the brushes are really nice. So this is the second brush that comes in the package. You can see this brush is so pretty. And this brush is a setting brush and it's 402. So it's Real Technique Setting Brush 402. So now I'm going in and I'm just patting this as we go. Now I don't want this to pass my nose because then it's going to take over my entire face. And then I'm going to have some issues and I don't want those issues today. And so we go in. So this brush is honestly okay. It's not as nice as I thought it would have been because I see everybody using this brush, right? So that's why I went looking for it. But I don't know if I'm using it wrong, but it just all right. So sometimes I like to do my eyebrows like that. You understand? So y'all are just learning all of my little techniques. And I'm patting this out here and I'm patting this out here. Then I'm going with my black opal, right? In the color hazelnut and I'm going to create my contour, right? Good. I'm going up the side of the nose with my hazelnut. Going up the side of the nose with my hazelnut. Going right down on my forehead here, right? Right down the side here. And that is our contour areas. Again, if you want to see in depth how we highlight it and how we contour, you have to go and go into the other videos and check out where we did an entire video explaining in depth highlighting and contouring. This brush is a um, a BS small brush, right? Um, it's not really like a brand, right? It's not really like a brand, but I like the way that it's tapered to the top. So this is why I use it. I like the way that it's tapered to the top, good? And I'm gonna go in. Mm-hmm, I'm doing this because I want it to go wrong in here. And remember I said, guys, if you want your face to look more cheekbone, you go up, you go up. Side here. you can use a smaller brush but because you know we are custom doing this I would just use the brush that I have in my hand right you could use a smaller brush right. and this is I would call this look what would I call this look hmm. a natural glam look oh yes because remember the highlights and contour in, so then it's glam. But I don't want the eyes to be too much. I don't want the eyeshadow to be too much. I just want everybody to be kind of moderate, kind of, you know, Saturday afternoon chill. This brush, I have to try to figure out how we to like it. Because everybody's raving about it. With my Sasha Buttercup, and I'm going to use this to set my face. Going to my brush. Have a little bit of the cork here. Tap that off. And I'm gonna go up here. Set here. So the only brush works well for setting. For setting the powder, because I think that's what it was made for. Right? You see, it's very nice. It sets really well. But I see people using it to um, blend in the highlighter, blend in the concealer. So I say, why not try? And everybody's like, this brush is a holy grail. This brush is a holy grail. So I am like, okay, you know, let me get it. So this is the reason why I went out hunting for it. 
and they were selling it in a pack with three other brushes so i was like uh i'm not gonna need these three other brushes but the price was okay i think in tt was 80 dollars for the three brushes which was really good right so i say you know what let me get it i got it at starlight and not knowing i actually liked the other two brushes more than i like the brush that i actually needed wow that's a wholesome one hmm. Lord. Hmm. i told you all this setting it's it's putting on your powder so good like so good no lie this thing is working good to such a face mm -hmm. to contour the size of my face not using sasha today but using my l'oreal compact powder in the shade c8 um i said c8 it is it should be yeah it's c8 and this is coco right you can get this at pennywise at your local beauty supply store l'oreal it's a drugstore brand We didn't bake, we didn't use any sponge, we went in with our brushes to do our highlights, our contouring, and our setting of our powder. Right guys, this is what I'm using, and I am applying my Sasha blush right above my contour. I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply a light base to my eyelid. I'm applying just a little bit there. I'm making sure it's blended right into my concealer. I want the concealer and the eye primer to seam together. To really seam in together. And then I'm going to do that on the other side. I'm really loving how this face is coming out. Praise Jesus. I have this Tom Ford little compact hair, you know. Um, right. Good. And because I don't really want much happening, I'm just going to go in. And I'm just going to apply this with my finger to my lid because this is just the look that I'm going for today. And I like this shimmer because it's so soft. Don't ask me where I got these. These were a gift. But I will try to find a link and put everything that I use in the description box for you guys. Okay, so you just go with like a yellow or like a nice light brown something really soft just to soften the top of your eyes there so this here is the third brush that i got in the, the little packet right and this brush is a shading brush and it's a uh, 304 so it's 221 we have 402 and this is a 304 right so this is a 304 and this is a shading brush i would use it to shade under here go in with my ambrosia palette and I'm gonna find that nice brown. So the color that, I, that you could have used to shade is probably like maybe this color, just to warm up around, right? Right under here. Right, that's, this is what's up. This is what's up. I'm gonna put this brown right under here. Right. Oh, I'm loving it already. So if I am going out and I'm wearing something really nice and colorful and I don't want my face to be too much, this is the exact look that I'll do. I'll just do a one color on my lid and I'm good. If you're following me on Instagram at tequila.joseph, you're going to see that I got this in a Maybelline package earlier on this week. And it is so good, guys. That's actually a go though. Nice. Yeah, so no lashes, just mascara. Because right. I want you guys to see how this mascara works. Alright. Good. It's so good. You see that? Do you see this? Oh my god. Where have you been hiding? Whoa. Girl. Do you see this? This is so good. This reminds me of the Too Faced mascara. Now, I like my mascara to be a little thick because that's how I get my eyes looking like I have on four C's. Guys, this is so good. Right, I'll just 
some of the corner there a little more chance of the corner there a little more this is so good oh my god oh my god oh my god girl yes 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 good then i'm gonna go in with my maybelline brow ultra slim um, it's kind of like a crayon defining pencil. It has a spoolie to the top here, right? If you guys see in it, good. And I'm just gonna just brush up this hair. Then I'm just gonna just fill in when it needs to be filled in. Right? Good. Front is going good. Brush these bad boys up. All right, and it's a brow. Good. Good. To make the end a little thicker. Good. I'm just making the end a little thicker. It's a brow, and I'm going over on this side, and I'm doing the same thing. Good. and I'm just filling in here this is so gorgeous and it's natural it's it's pretty my toothpaste and I'm just gonna spray my face a local product it's called to glow this is like a very peach bronzer this bronzer has a color called cocoa it's beautiful for dark skin people you, every student that comes here and they're dark skin, they would use it and they would be like, whoa, this is so amazing. It really is amazing on dark skin people. It's cocoa, right? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Um, These brows are giving me life. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, yes. Put some here. right i don't know if we're gonna put a little bit on the forehead all right put a little bit on the chin all right guys i don't like my lips to look small so i would go down here okay okay and don't ever leave this line here guys we don't want this line here, we don't want it. So you push up. You push up here. Uh -huh. Alright. You come here. What I do too is I wipe my lips from every from any makeup that I had on it. And then I have my lipstick. So you come here, you come down here, right? And then I come here, and I do the same thing. Right? I don't back down from how voluptuous my lips are. I just go in, I just go in. I need to depot these lipsticks, by the way. That is what I need to do. And I'm gonna go in. And let me show you what you really have to do now. You go in there. And now I and now I blend her in my brown. like all over the place a little bit but we're gonna get it together guys just stick with me a little bit um guys if you haven't subscribed remember to 
subscribe ring that bell next to subscribe and you will become a part of the notification gang follow me on instagram follow me on facebook follow me on twitter no i lie i don't have a twitter just share with your friends share with your family members guys remember i love you guys stay blessed stay safe bye bye